We're back with Senator Markey. One for two, by the way, on the pop quiz. Here's question three. He was a Republican U.S. Senator from Massachusetts and the only Republican in the Senate leadership who voted to censure Senator Joseph McCarthy of Wisconsin. Who was that Massachusetts Senator? Sinclair uh, Weeks, Henry Cabot Lodge, Leverett Saltonstall. Um, I, I would... I would say it was Leverett Saltonstall. You nailed it, Leverett Saltonstall. Final question, your hometown, Malden, Massachusetts. My Aunt Joan lives in Malden, by the way. Excellent. The city of Malden once included some adjacent cities. And which one of these, and this is, and we're going to go backwards, okay? So this, the question is, which one of these cities was not originally part of Malden? Medford, Melrose, or Everett? Um, Medford. You got it. Melrose broke off he knows his in 1850, district. Everett. Well, again, that's because we harken back to the original Thanksgiving Day football game between there, Malden there you and go. Medford. Absolutely. And, uh, that's, uh, we wish that we still had the Everett football team <laughs> partnered with Malden. We, we would win the state title every year without well, exception. Well, I'm not sure everyone in Everett would agree with that, sir. <laughs> but they, so you've talked a lot about endorsements today and how uh, important they are to your campaign, but you've also talked about how climate change is sort of like your number one issue, your signature issue as you ask voters for their support. Could you endorse Alex Morse, who has endorsed the Green Deal and is running against your colleague and good friend, Congressman Richie Neal, who has not endorsed the New Deal, although he says that he is not opposed to it. How important is the climate change as you juggle all of this? Well, I'm with Richie Neal, uh, but ultimately, you know, he, he supports taking bold action on climate change, a change in the tax code that uh, makes it possible for but us to say But he's not on board 100%. To, to, well, again, uh, the, the tax code is going to be an important thing that has to change uh, because, obviously, um, Donald Trump calls the Green New Deal socialism, but what does he call tax breaks for 100 years for the oil, gas, and coal industry? Well, that's welfare uh, for corporations on steroids, for crying out loud. So we've got to change the tax code so we have permanent tax breaks for wind and solar and uh, batteries and all electric vehicles, all electric buildings. Uh, and that's where, ultimately, I'll be partnering with Richie Neal on the Ways and Means Committee in order to change those laws. Once we do that, we're going to be looking at the fossil fuel industry in a rear view mirror. Uh, and that's ultimately at the heart of the Green New Deal and what we're going to have to pragmatically accomplish to change the incentives. But the fact that he will not endorse it wholeheartedly, he's not 100% on board. Some people might suggest that politics has Trump's Trump an issue, and an issue very important to you, by not endorsing his opponent. Well, again, uh, I am with uh, Congressman Neal, uh, and, and he is a fervent supporter uh, in changing the rules. In 19, um, in 2009, he voted for the Waxman-Markey bill, which I was able to pass on the, on the House floor, which reduced greenhouse gases by 80% by the year 2050. He voted for that. In 2007, my law to increase fuel economy standards, which Barack Obama used to increase them to 54.5 miles per gallon, which is what um, Donald Trump is now trying to roll back at the behest of the oil industry. Richie Neal <coughs> voted for that. So from my perspective, when it comes down to these big issues uh, that have to be uh, passed through the Congress in order to have the transformational change, which we need, uh, we're going to be partnering on those issues. Senator, thank you for your time. Happy Thanksgiving. Thank you. Happy Thanksgiving. Gobble, you. gobble. Do you, do you, do you trim, carb the turkey? Uh, what do you do? My brothers control. Oh, very good. <laughs> the, the, the carving very good. knife. The twins. The yeah, twins? The, my twin brothers, yeah. <laughs> so we'll, we'll be with them. And, uh, uh, and we, there's no better day huh, Absolutely. in the year than it, Thanksgiving. And by the way, um, at the request of Plymouth, I was able to get uh, the money to dredge Plymouth Harbor. And so it will be dredged so that the Mayflower 2 can come back next year for the 400th birthday party of the pilgrims in Plymouth. Amazing. And I'm very yes, proud to, pipe, to have partnered with Plymouth to be able to get that funding. Senator, thank you for your time. Thanks Happy for having Thanksgiving. Me. Thank you, Reddy. Our thank thanks you, again to Senator Ed Markey. The Sunday Roundtable is next right here on Channel 5. Some setbacks for Deval Patrick in his late run for the White House. How getting the word out can be a tough sell. Stay with us.